I've been running this 3D printer most of my working hours and I found that uh, the feed mechanism doesn't run that smoothly and a lot of people make special adapters for it, something like this but it didn't really work out too well for me because the diameter of some of the reels are different this reel PLA is different from this reel this is ABS I don't think it's really it's just, I think they're different because they're different reels and when the reel turn on the uh, the roller here this doesn't turn and because the hole is bigger it sort of like flops around and because when the filament reel is full it's kind of heavy it's like 2.2 pounds so it's kind of like flops around and I I would think that puts a stress on the stepper motor because you're running it all day uh, right now I have the filament passing through the hole that was already in here this is where they have the logo so I just pass the filament there and I lay the filament reel down instead of uh, standing up like this and it seems to work better so what I have here is like a, a sample of the reel because the filament is not turning now so you can't see the turning action so it's similar here this drill is quite a few pounds a couple of pounds and you see how smoothly this turns it's not going to turn too fast because this is not a car the stepper motor pulls on it ever so slowly very gradually but it should be even otherwise the uh, filament wouldn't get fed into the uh, nozzle too evenly you, you just saw it turn you see how smoothly it turned and when it's turning smooth like that the filament is not going to unwind and and uh, get tangled up when it uses the filament comes off and it goes to the side and then everything get messed up so when I put it sideways like this it works very well right it works very well and of course the trick is to have this is like a lazy Susan roller tray that you put on the dinner table or whatever whatever project you have right right now I just tape it on and that's sufficient you tape it on there tape it on top set it down you see how smoothly it goes so I found this and um, actually I don't I didn't even use this on here this is even simpler this is just a piece of Lewin plywood and then I just put a screw through uh, nut and bolt this is like a just just a small nut and right this is the other side right take it off right the, the that's a bolt head here I put a small nut in between here in between on the in between that rotating piece and the base there's a nut there and then here I have another nut and that's it and don't tighten it just let it loose like that because if you tighten it then that that kind of defeats the purpose of it returning right so you just lay it on there and because it's turning so smooth you don't even have to put anything on it I just put a little bit of masking tape on it because I'm not watching it right that's all it takes if you want to you can put a couple of staples on three sides so that it wouldn't 
the reel wouldn't move back and forth, but masking tape is fine. Just put a little bit of masking tape in there and it won't slice around because it's turning so smoothly. If you put staples in there, you might have to take the staples out if you're or nails or whatever when you're changing reel because they have different diameter. This is a different diameter. So masking tape is fine. I just put a little masking tape there and uh, it works, works well. You can see how smoothly it turns and um, I don't have to use this. I find it difficult to mount. I see some people mounting the reel on top of the printer here. You can see that there isn't much room and then they, they make another clamp or something and then mount it all the way up here. So it makes it kind of top heavy. But anyway, I'm going to put the reel in the back and just put it on that stand and uh, I think it will work. If it's, there's very little strain on the stepper motor. That's the idea. And the wires or the filament won't get tangled up. And, um, and the filament will go into the nos uh, nozzle without any problem because there's no tucking. Right? I used to find myself pulling on the filament every so often and put it on the side to give it some room. And now I don't have to do that because it's eating so smoothly. All right.